Kevin, this is nice. Talking about no cash. I'm all about the millies, you ain't even gotta add. And I don't like to wait, so you better make it fast. Better make it what is up, YouTube? It's your girl Creo Barbie here with Creo Barbie TV. If you are new to my channel, be sure to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. Subscribe below to be a part of the hottest movement around. And that's the Barbie game. Period. You guys, I'm coming at you guys with some good information today. I know a lot of people have now started the process where they are accepting offers. So I am going to say congratulations to each and every one of you. If you guys just recently joined the USPS, welcome to the Postal Family. Please keep me updated with all your success with your hiring process your questions your experiences anything and everything keep your girl updated period later on i'll be doing a segment where i'll be interviewing a lot of you guys so therefore i'm gonna need y'all full interaction baby it's time right now for your voice to be heard forget all the reading comments and let everybody read those comments baby but let's go ahead and record some videos but in the meantime i want to talk to you guys about tours Someone wants me to basically do a video. One of my subscribers was like, hey, can you do a video on the tour, your experience overall with the tour you work on? So I got you, boo. I finally got you a better way to do this video like this. Not only am I gonna discuss the tours, but I'm gonna discuss what for you to expect within the tour as a holiday clerk. Because the holiday season is coming up, and you need to know what to expect within that tour. So the overall experience of what to expect in that tour, and how life is working that tour. Where I currently work is Tour 3. I work in letter automation. Tour 3 in letter automation is very fast paced. I feel like we play cleanup a lot, because we come in, like right now, I come in at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I don't leave to 8.30. So, I'm actually assisting Tour 1 clerks with outgoing mail, as well as MMP, and that's the mail that we actually process to go on different machines for the day that specify on certain kind of runs. So, therefore, I feel like in order for me to get my dispatch out, on time i'd rather just go ahead and get my dispatch out but however i have no seniority so therefore i kind of have to start the process of assisting tour one which is the daylight shit typically i feel like two or three they call a lot of overtime on us and we do it like literally we are the shit that is going to make it happen baby tour three so we do a lot of overtime. The hours are cool. I love the hours because I either have the option of coming in early and staying late. So I get a lot of money with working tour three. Um, do I enjoy it? I enjoy it however it seems like it's most of your day. Because typically when you work tour three, you're working from 12 o'clock noon up until 8.30 p.m. Now in some cases, you may be coming in from 2 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. That's another part of being tour three. Typically during the holiday season, we come in at 10 a.m. and we leave at 8.30. Sometimes we leave at 10 o'clock p.m. if they call 11 and a half hours for PSCs. Um, but that's pretty much tour three. Complaining, they say that they leave a lot of work for tour three, but you got to realize something that overnight don't really have too many people because you got to think about it. A lot of people don't like working overnight, especially at my plant. I can't speak for other stations or other not other stations, other plants, but I know at my plant, tour one are, is always low staff, so therefore we kind of help out a lot by staying over and get them extra hours, and then tour one. You know, they have so much going on. We're trying to assist tour. Well, tour two has so much going on to assist tour one in the morning when they get there, getting their dispatches out on time because they are understaffed to where they kind of don't have enough time to run the outgoing mail and get our mail set up for the day when we get there. So that's overall my experience with tour three. It's not too much to it. It's pretty cool. I like it. I enjoy it. Um, I probably wouldn't try to go no other tours right now. Unless I have to get 
out of a different location, a different unit, then who knows. One thing I will let you guys know as far as the pay goes, is there a pay increase for working two or three? Anything after 6 p.m., there's something called shift differential. So you can get that shift differential without having to work overnight. And that's the thing I like, especially when working in two or three is that I don't have to be up all night just to get that shift differential. I can actually come in, work at 6 p.m., get that little extra few coins before it's time to clock out, and hey, that's that. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, comment below. Also, I'll be having a part two to this video on what to expect. What to expect as a holiday clerk at the USPS. In the meantime, I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. Deuces.